youth, we are very energized, naturally. We're like balls of force and action. We just need that environment that catalyzes that action towards the right way. There is this tremendous hope and possibility. So I do think that youth are trying to set up the rest of their lives. They're trying to think about what they've been given, the societies that, that they see around them. Often there's a lot of cognitive dissonance about this idealism and this hope for the future and then really harsh realities that they find themselves in. I think the fact that we're so frustrated with what's happening right now, we're not seeing anything change. And so we need to be those agents of change. You know, we can't wait for change to happen. We have to be the change we want to see in the world. The youth have that kind of fervor. They have a very strong sense of injustice. So when they see people abused by the police, or they see people denied housing, I think they have a sense of, this has got to change. Young people especially are motivated to make the world a better place because they see how much they themselves can be validated by spreading joy to others. They do want opportunity, you know. Uh, young people want to make the world their own. I see that as youth grows older, there's more of an anger there. Anger is not necessarily bad as long as it's channeled. And that's what I think that we have to help them uh, channel that anger that they have and sense of justice and turn it injustice into, into justice.